Hey guys, it's Connie. Welcome back and don't forget to subscribe. I have the new redesigned 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 this week. And you might say, but it doesn't look new. It looks like the GLC and you're right. I don't see a lot of changes on the exterior. The big stuff is on the interior and we'll get to that. You'll see some AMG styling cues. We have AMG wheels on here and some AMG stuff on the front end. Come have a closer look at this grill. I love all these Mercedes Benz stars across the front. I think it looks really sharp. A nice contrast with this black on black. This is the obsidian black option, so it's not the base black. It's an optional paint. All right, let's take this GLC 300 for a drive. This is a two liter turbo four cylinder with a mild hybrid. It gets 255 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque, which is just right for this size of vehicle. I will say I would love to drive the AMG version of this. And I actually don't think they made one for 2023 because they don't see it on the Mercedes Benz website, but I have seen them in prior model years. And of course, this body style with an AMG in it, ah, oh, so much fun. But yes, comfortable, even though this is full leather seats, comfortable, I love this size SUV. And like I said, I think even though it's not the AMG, it is adequately powered and I always love driving a compact SUV. As you can see, again, not a lot of changes to the exterior of the GLC back end. This is a uh, formatic, which means all wheel drive. In Canada, it is standard all wheel drive. In the US, you can get a front wheel drive as the base GLC 300. We have dual fake exhausts, because if you actually try to stick something in there, this is solid plastic here. So the exhaust comes out the bottom, not a big deal. This does have uh, towing capability. And we have a nice size cargo area back here with all three seats folding down separately. Let's have a look and see what's under the... We do have a spare tire, which is always great. And a nice privacy shade, tethers for three car seats. And these seats do fold forward at the touch of a button back here. <laughs> all right. Why is this lift gate so tall? <laughs> I, I'm five foot one, like why can I not reach it? It's not like this is a huge SUV. <laughs> there we go. That's all that <laughs> you need to do. We have a nice pano sunroof, which really lights up this dark interior back here. And I really appreciate that. We have a really nice finishing. We have ambient lighting. We have, of course, power doors and window locks, but we don't have any heated seats back here or anything like that. We don't even have USB ports here, but we do have vents. And there's quite a big hump in the middle here, so your middle passenger is going to run out of legroom. But we do have two latch infant car seat systems, a center armrest with a little... Um, pop out thing for a phone and then you press it again to get the cup holders to come out. These are kind of cool uh, adjustable sizes and it's just nice tucked away like that. These are uh, faux leather interior seats. That is the standard for the GLC 300. And other than that, it's just a nice compact little uh, five seater SUV rear seats. All right, we have the new totally digital driver display here totally customizable. I love this about Mercedes-Benz. You can really choose all different view points. We even have an off-road uh, view with different gauges so you can see the slope and the uh, grade at which the vehicle is at. Not really sure I would take a GLC 300 off-roading, but perhaps if you were going camping or something like that, you can see navigation is full screen. We have the classic, the sport, um, again, this is not the AMG, so I don't know that you would want to use the Sport, the understated. Um, I just love how customizable the new Mercedes driver's display is. It's very clear, as you can see. We've got our speed limit indicator on here. I love that. And then we do have a giant head-up display, which is really hard to show on camera, but I will try to show you the augmented reality um, navigation on the head-up display. Then here on the steering wheel, 
this is new for this year as well again you can control everything with these haptic touch buttons we have our uh, adaptive cruise here the customization of the driver display we have the controls here which control the touch screen and then our phone and uh, voice command buttons here it's a really comfortable thick leather steering wheel with a sporty flat bottom and we have full 3d augmented reality navigation on our head-up display and look at how big this head-up display unit is all right this is all new and you would have seen this i had it in the c300 i've had it in the s class and even in the new sl this whole uh infotainment or multimedia screen touch screen controls everything is all new for this 2023 glc 300 as well uh, before i get too far into this system i just want to point out these gorgeous vents they're so beautiful i love the shape i love the sounds they make and of course we have that gorgeous mercedes-benz and lighting in there which can be changed to I believe something like 256 different colors and I love it I always choose this deep blue but yes we have this giant iPad like screen we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which I love and then you can control everything in here it defaults to the navigation when I hit the home screen but you can customize that to, to uh, display whatever you want it to and then of course we have our ambient lighting we have seat kinetics we even have the automatic seat positioning in here which will position my seat and headrest if I put my height in here and then we have off-road settings again as I mentioned I'm not sure I would take this off-road but you you can it's not incredibly off-road capable but it does have those capabilities and then we have all our driver display settings in here I want to go show you some of the advanced driver assist features so we've got all of our uh, uh, advanced driver assist features listed in here it has an excellent backup camera I want to show you that actually um, excellent backup camera 360 view incredibly clear and then when you're driving and you put it back into forward into uh, drive it has a great front camera as well that even turns with the steering wheel and I remember first seeing that on the E-Class and I think it's phenomenal for navigating tight parking lots, parking spaces and what have you. Again, love this system. It is excellent, very, very uh, responsive. And then we have a couple haptic buttons here. So dynamic is drive modes. We have sport, individual, comfort and eco and off-road. And then we can turn on our par parking camera at any point here. We have our vehicle settings. If I hit this button, we have our four ways. This is a fingerprint uh, touch control recognition, mostly for the US. And then we have our volume dial here, but I tend to use the volume on my steering wheel instead. So love this new system. I love how clean the dash is and you can customize this. This can be wood, this can be um, this pattern lots of customization options and of course as you can see the ambient lighting all throughout the front here and then we have a nice sized cubby with our USB charger our uh, wireless um, charging pad customizable cup size uh, cup holders and this all closes nicely to keep this area really nice and clean and we have a clamshell style uh, center console with two more USB-C chargers all right, so what do you think about this GLC 300? It starts around 59,000 Canadian dollars, which is all wheel drive. In the US, you can get it for as little as $47,000 starting, but that is a front wheel drive. This one has the premium package, the premium plus package, the AMG line package, the body color option, and a few other things. And then the packaging is different in the US. They, they call the packages different, the trims are different, the options are different. As an example, in the US, the panoramic sunroof is a standalone option whereas in Canada it's part of one of the packages so this one as tested is about 74,000 Canadian dollars and would be about 62,000 US dollars leave me a question or a comment and we'll see you soon